Hi, it's Michael from Spotty Creek Farm. In today's episode, we're going to talk about chicken coops, how big they need to be, and the four main components of those chicken coops, and how big each of those individual components need to be. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that button below. Go ahead and tick that bell icon. That way you get notified of any videos we make in the future. Here at Spotty Creek Farm, we've been raising chickens for five years now, and we've gone from having chickens in a coop to having free range chickens and kind of everything in between. And so we've learned a little bit on that journey. The first is the coop floor. In the coop floor, there should be at least two to three square feet per chicken. And what that does is that gives you a little bit of room for the chickens to wander around, but it also gives you room to put a waterer and a feeder in. The next component is the roost. The roost should have eight to 10 inches per bird along the roost. Okay, so you just take the number of birds that you have, multiply it by eight to 10 inches, eight for smaller birds, 10 for bigger birds. And what you want to do is you want that to be to stagger those. So if your first roost is here, going this way, and the birds are sitting this way, your second roost needs to be 15 inches back and 15 inches up. And what that does is that keeps the birds that are on the top roost from pooping on the birds that are on the bottom roost. It just gives that separation, makes it a lot easier and a lot nicer for your chickens. The next component is the nesting boxes. You should have one nesting box per four to five birds. And each nesting box should roughly measure one foot by one foot by one foot. That gives you enough room for the chickens to be able to, to nest in there and have plenty of room to kind of move around and take care of the chicks as they, as they hatch. The next thing you need is some kind of access to those nesting boxes. And that way you can get to those nesting boxes without having to reach in from the inside, preferably at something, you know, some kind of lid from the outside. You've seen them, they're pretty common that way. The last component is the run. The run should have three to four square feet per bird. And that gives them room to roam around, room to peck after bugs, room for you to come in and put grass clippings in or put toys in and that kind of thing. Um, it just gives the chickens plenty of room during the daytime to get out and not be cooped up in the coop. For example, if you had five chickens, you'd need at least 10 to 15 square feet of coop space, 40 to 50 inches of roosting space, one or two nesting boxes, and at least 15 square feet of run space. That was what the bare minimum of what you would need. Bigger is better, generally except for maybe the roost space. The chickens like to, especially in the cold, roost together and stay, and that's how they stay warm. So a question for y'all. How far away from your house is your chicken coop? How far away is too close so you don't hear the roosters in the crowing in the morning and waking you up too early? And how far away is too far so that you don't have to walk forever to get to your chicken coop? Most chicken coops are built out of studs and plywood. So the thing to take into consideration is a sheet of plywood is four feet by eight feet or 32 square feet. If we go back to the five chickens example that we had earlier, you only needed 15 square feet of coop area for those five chickens. So 32 square feet is plenty. So what you could get away with is a floor that is one sheet of plywood, okay? And what that does is that allows you to do less cutting of the plywood. So you have a, a, sheet, a coop that's eight feet long, four feet wide, and then you could have a wall that matches that eight feet and goes up four feet. And that way you're cutting a lot less plywood. The fewer cuts you can do, the easier it is to build. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. You can also find us on Facebook and our website at www.spottycreekfarm.com. We'd love to have you visit either one. If there's anything that you'd like to see me cover, you can also leave that in the comments below and we'll be sure to try to do a video on that as well. Y'all have a great day.